I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what list item class in ASP.NET. So, at your first time, I am going to write inside or title list item class example. Now, here after, so let's go inside of body section or we can say body tag and here. In body tag, going to H4 tag. Now, here, so this is the example of list list box example. So, there I will use list item class. Now, here, after, so here, after the next thing, I will give some line. So for this we need to use PR tag. Now here after let's go inside of form and here going to write add here at this point ASP here column. Now here ASP column here you can find a list box. Add here list box. Now set the ID. So you can give add here any meaningful ID. So giving add here list item 1 that is id. Now here after we need to set the width. So add here width that is 100 px and here this should be run on server. So run it and here you can find server. So run it server. Now the next thing is add here ASP. So we need to add add here list item. So you can find add here list items. So by using list item class, so we can add items inside list box. So add here list item. So first add here you can find value. So value we can or set anything whatever you like. So add here I'm giving. And here value is the optional part. If you want, then here you can give or if you want. Now here after, so there is a one item that is added. Now here after copy that one. And here list or let's press paste here. So add here I will do some one Tuesday. So total we need add here seven. Seven. So add here this is 3 and here this is 3, 3 plus 3, 6 and here giving 1 more. Now here, so value should be or different. So add here next value setting to here 3, here 4, here 5, here 6 and here 7. So add here first is sun. Now next is 1 and here after 1. Here after Tuesday. Now next is add here at this point. Date next day. And here planting PSR that is Thursday. Now next is right here. And here this is for Saturday. So add here. Or we can add total item. We can add many items whatever you like. Now here after the next thing is so we can write like this way or we can do some modification. So add here at this point value is add here I return. Now here you can include text. So add here you can write text like uh, so this is for weight. Okay. So I'm giving add here weight. Next thing. So this is the text here. Now here after the next is so we need to include one more thing. Add here after writing text. Let's include add here selected. Selected. And here make that true. So add here. So this is the close of Wednesday. Right, 
and here this is for so we need to set the trip and here this is not required so here it's a not required now here after close that so either we can write add here by this way or here you can write this way both should be give the same answer so if you don't want full name so simply write add here text that is Wednesday now here after the list walk part has been over now if you want then here you can go to designer so there is a one list box that is added and here this is the items sun burn Wednesday like this now here after let's go or source again now here after going to add some control like go add here going to add so here you can find somewhere button control so button control now so add here going to set the text property of button so add here writing click so this is the text property of button now here after you can find on click event now here after so you can give any useful or name of button on click event button so writing at here button one underscore here you can find click now here after let's write at here run it and your server now here after the next thing is so let's include add here some VR tag after add here or uh, printing or displaying button control I will to use VR tag to put something in new line now here after let's use add this point ASP and your column and here you can find label control so let's just set the ID and here so writing at this point the ID label 1 now this should be run on the server server now here after close that so let's just check the designer so there I added add here one button that is named click add here one label now here after the next thing is so here button or displaying at here in the same line so at here let's use br tag add here br tag now here after you can uh, check the designer at here so see at here button it's now in the after it's the display to like after now here after the next part is so inside at here head section so inside head section, I'm going to write the code. So add here, first writing, add here a script tag. Now a script tag, we need to set the language. So currently I'm using add here, this of language. So given the name, this of. Now add here, this should be run on the server. So run it, and here set the server. Now here after, Let's write something inside a script. So add here, the next thing is, let's use add here void. Now, here you can find a button underscore click. Button underscore click. Now, here you can find object and here sender object sender and here event ARGS and here set so event ARGS is the class and here is the object now here after so we need to filter so add here if index that is start sometime minus one sometime that is start with zero so I don't know start the index with zero so for this we need to include add here here you can find the list box so the id is the list box add here list box item 
So it should be meaningful. I think uh, we need to do some modification. So add here. Let's include add here list box one. Now here let's write again list. So here you can find somewhere list box one is the ID of list box. Now here after the next thing is so if you place add here dot and s. So at here at this point, so you can find at your selected index. So what the selected index? So get or set the lowest ordinance index of the selected item. Now here after let's give greater and here. So this would be greater with minus one. Now here after let's use label. One. And here you can find the text property text add here. Now here in double quote going to write selected. Now here after the next thing is giving column and here plus so add here. Let's write list box one. Here after we need selected item. So what was the selected item? So text property I'm going to display. So if uh, the condition is greater, so first that to uh, display the text property. Now here after list box, so add here text uh, label one here again text and here that's include. So first time the value whatever so that going to increase. So plus equal to going to use and here inside double quote going to write add here value and here plus now here the list box one here so here you can find selected item so this time going to value so this is the so by using this code so suppose if the user select some items Add here, let's go to the designer. Here you can find all controls. Now, suppose so this is the add here h4 tag here. Suppose user select add here Tuesday. Okay, now if user click add here on Tuesday, so add here the text should be display Tuesday and according to whatever I set the value. So add here with Tuesday, I set 3. So the value should be display 3. Now execute and check there. So add here it's a selected window state. So if I click on so add here it's a displaying selected window state and here the value 4. So because add here at uh, witness state you can find add here so witness state here you can find witness state. So add here I set the value with 4. So whatever the value that you set at this point, so according to that the output should be displayed. Now here after the next thing is so I don't know make so add here give some space so add here give double cut add here slash so now here after let's execute one more time So add here next time going to select to add here Monday. So add here selected Monday and has value to its display. Now let's understand the code. Okay, so add here at this point. So there I take in here. So add here or H4. So H4 this is the use of H4 tag. So it's used to generate display the text into the browser. Now here after I created Add here I have taken list box counter here I set the ID with list box one and here this is the width. So whatever you width you can give add here according to requirement. Now here after I added list of items like uh, add here Sunday Monday. So this is the text here and here this is the value. So suppose if user select add here Thursday, the value should be displayed add here five. Now here after 
the next thing is list box now suppose if user click on button so there is a on click event that fire now here after so this is the on click event that fire now here after so if list box selected index greater than 0 so add here or uh, 0 greater than minus 1 so this condition is true now here after level 1 so add here that check the value so add here when the condition is match here so selected and here list was selected selected text so add here first time this or display add here selected text so suppose user click add here monday so add here text that go to the table and here so next is value so list box one selected item okay selected item and there i set the value with uh, for monday that i set with one i think one right no no, no two so here you can find on monday i set the value with two so that if i click user click on click button so add here that value should be displayed two so this is the simplest example of list box and list item. So list box here you can uh, set on uh, list items and here so by using uh, a click button we can uh, do some performance like on click here. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.